Vaya, bro. ¿Qué la que hay, mi gente? Espero que todo el mundo esté bien, ¿verdad? Bienvenido a otro live con Campesino el Bro. Saludos, vaya, aquí en la ciudad de Chicago, Windy City, baby. Ya tú sabes, Chicago, baby. Aquí en el barrio West Humboldt Park. Eh, espero que todo el mundo esté bien, ¿verdad? Eh, feliz día Reyes, hoy día Reyes, mi gente. So, ¿verdad? Esos nenes que, que se comportaron bien durante el año, me imagino que recibieron algo hoy, ¿verdad? So, pues nada, mi gente. Hoy vamos a hacer un Chicken Girls, mi gente. Chicken Girls, mi gente. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. Vamos a ver si me, si me puedo ver yo aquí, ¿verdad? No sé. Y saludo a mi esposa. Saludos, mi amor. Yo sé que estás trabajando fuerte. Eh, espero verte ahorita, ¿verdad? Cuando llegue a casa. Darte muchos abrazos y muchos besitos. Mm, love you, baby. Y nada, mi gente. Eh, vamos a hacer un Chicken Girls. Lo que no sabemos lo que es un Chicken Girls, mucha gente le dicen diferente, right? They say different. Mucha gente le dicen Gyro. Eh, otra gente le dicen eh, eh, Girls. Oh, the proper term, I think, is like Heroes. Giros, si no me equivoco, Giros, something like that, that's the, like the Greek term, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Dónde estoy? Uh, ok. Ahí estoy. Ok, ahora me veo, mi gente. Saludos, Jennifer Fitch. Hope you're doing good. Alyssa, hi, hey, Alyssa. Uh, thanks for tuning in, mi gente. I'm going to try to keep it. Spanglish like I usually do, so I'm gonna try to keep it like equal if I can. So just bear with me, people, okay? Un poquito, okay? So, español inglés, okay? So it's a little hard for me when I do that, you know. I don't know people that that, that are bilingual, at least for me, it's, it's hard, you know. When I do the Spanglish like that, then it comes out, but that's usually to, ¿verdad? Otra gente que, that uh, understand, ¿verdad? At least people that, that I grew up here with in Chicago, I'm gonna say like my Puerto Rican people, ¿verdad? Uh, that grew up here like I did. We understand each other when we mix that English with the Spanish with no problem. But when you talk to a person that's not like that, but like I said, either Spanish or English. So I'm gonna try it, gente, okay? Nada. Jenny, saludo. Hey, all right. Si, besito mi amor, te lo recibo. My wifey. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I got about two pounds of chicken right here, right? Boneless thigh meat, okay? Just uh, keep up with me, gente. I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna put in this as I go uh, through the video doing this stuff. Uh, okay, oil, lemon pepper, paprika, Italian seasonings, okay? A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of white vinegar, a little bit of garlic. If you got fresh garlic, you can use that too. And of course, salt and pepper. I use the Himalayan one. Whatever salt you have is fine. It's just healthier, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, como les dije, aceite, vinagre, eh, jugo de limón, eh, especia italiana, eh, ajo en polvo, paprika, eh, lemon pepper, y sal pimienta. Okay, mi gente, nosotros lo que vamos a hacer. Lemon pepper. Okay. We're gonna go with a teaspoon of lemon pepper. Teaspoon, ¿verdad? Cucharadita de lemon pepper. Teaspoon, cucharadita de paprika. Okay. Okay, that's that. Tablespoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you can use oregano, it's fine. If you have oregano and thyme, you can mix it together. That works well too. Let me lower that, que eso se calienta rápido. Okay. Uh, garlic, granulated garlic, tablespoon. You can throw more if you want. El que le gusta tirar más. Eh, cucharada de, de ajo en polvo. Okay, this, I usually don't use this stuff. Yo uso la tapita, I use the cap. If I can open it, okay. 
So lemon juice. I'm gonna say like, I don't know, two caps of this. Two caps of lemon juice is fine. Or I'm gonna say a half a half a lemon or about a lemon is fine. Just, uh, squeezed, right? You can use that too. And a cat full of vinegar. Okay. And then some oil. I'm gonna say like like a quarter cup of oil, like a couple ounces of oil in there. Just squeeze it in there, it's fine. Put it in a bag like this. Close it, ya tu sabes, mi gente. Just mix it up real good. Is your weapon, bro? Bye, ya. Destiny, hey. My daughter-in-law, love you. Give, it, give a kiss to the kids for me, please. Okay, just mix it up. They lock real good. Let's turn this back on. And while I cook the chicken, I'm gonna start making the, the tzatziki sauce. Okay, it's not a, it's not a gyro without the uh, tzatziki sauce, right? It's just a yogurt sauce. So Greek yogurt sauce. Okay, throw a little bit of oil in the pan, okay, oh my god that smells so good, that vinegar and that lemon juice helps it, okay, we're gonna go ahead and put I'm gonna use two pieces of me and I'm just gonna make one gyro sandwich. So we can just put this to the side right here. All right, while this cooks. And while that cooks, we're gonna do the, uh, the tzatziki sauce. For the tzatziki sauce, you need a cucumber, dill weed, okay? Dill weed is important. Plain Greek yogurt. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use uh, plain yogurt or plain sour cream. It's fine. That works well too. Okay? Of course, salt, pepper, garlic, and again, some lemon juice. Okay? Alright. This is what we're going to do. Let me just put everything back. Okay? First thing we're gonna do is the cucumber. It's, this one's a big one, right? So I've got, I gotta cut it in half because it's too much. So, cut that in half. And then here's my uh, my peeler. Look, it broke. But it still works. I didn't throw it out. So just peel the, the cucumber. Doesn't have to be like completely peeled. You leave a little green like that or whatever, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, put that to the side. Okay. I got a strainer right here because I don't wanna, I don't want the, the juice part of it. I just want whatever falls from here as far as uh, the seeds and all that. So you're gonna need a strainer. And this is the side you're gonna use, okay? So I got a bowl uh, with the strainer already and uh, uh, a grater, a grater. I said strainer, I was thinking about this. You need a strainer and a grater, this side, okay? So cuando usted la haga, mi gente, eh, pepinillo, eh, yogurt, dewey, jugo de limón, ajo en polvo, sal pimienta, mi gente, okay? Eh, un colador, bolsito, un plato, lo que tenga, con el pepinillo lo pela un poco, ¿verdad? Entonces lo vas a guayar aquí, ¿ok? Como si está guayando para pasteles, mi gente. Ok, we flip this. Ooh, they got a nice color to it. See, that's the color I want, something like that. Ok. Nada, mi gente, just put this right over to make it easier, right? Just start. Okay. 
Not as easy as it looks, mi gente. You gotta keep turning the cucumber. A meterle fe pa esto, mi gente. You go to there. Okay. And I'm ready for today, mi gente. No sé ustedes, el día reggae. Ay, saludo a la gente de España, de Guatemala, Argentina, de Brasil, eh, mi gente de Nueva York, mi gente de Pennsylvania, mi gente de Florida. I got people in California, watch, I got people in Hawaii. Saludo a toda esa gente that tune in, right? I like watching my videos, I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Okay. Okay, just get everything out like this, as best you can. Okay. Then I got this bowl, got another bowl. You're gonna throw about, no sé como, like about a cup of, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't want it to burn. Okay, it's good. Alright. You're going to throw like a cup, more or less. Okay? Okay, una taza de yogurt o sour cream, lo que tengan, okay? You just mix it, make sure it's good. Okay, now, the cucumber, all you want is this part, okay? Let me try to talk about love. Filet, vaya bro! You see all the juice in there? I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if it, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, the juice that's in there, you don't want that. You don't want all that juice. You just want this part. So just go ahead and just throw it in there like that. Okay? Mira, así mismo. Then you're going to throw one tablespoon of the dill. More or less. Okay? But you know what? Throw half, half a tablespoon. I'm gonna say half. I think I went, uh, I think that's a little too much. Lemon juice. Just throw a cap full. If you have like lemon zest, you can throw that in there too with the lemon juice, a little bit of zest. It's fine. And then garlic powder. A teaspoon. A teaspoon of garlic powder is good. Ya está. Okay. Eh, cucharadita de ajo. No te pierdas de limón. Eh, eh, una, ¿qué fue? Media cucharada de teo que le eché. Ok, mi gente. I'm trying to keep up Spanish and English, so bear with me, ok? Ok. If you guys have a whisk, it'll be much better. Ah, a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt. Wow, that's the chicken is doing really good. Mmm, and it smells really good. Really good. So, salt, pepper, and just mix. See, because you still want this nice and, and thick. And sometimes I like grabbing just a little bit of the juice, right? A little bit of that juice, that cucumber juice. It's a teaspoon. And just mix it in there. That's why I told you guys to separate it. Because if you throw it all like that, when I made this the first time, it was all like watery and, you know, I mean, no me gusto. I've been making this for years. Okay. 
You can throw a little more. It's still thick. Got room for another teaspoon. Bella. The more flavor of the cucumber, the better. At least for me. Bella. Remember, this is my style. Okay. Let's check the chicken. Oh yeah, chicken's coming out good. Vamos a ver. Y mi gente, if you're not sure about chicken when you cook chicken, uh, make sure it reaches 165 when you cook raw chicken. Uh, 165 or over, and, and it's safe to eat. Uh, anything under that, uh, you're taking a chance. So, just in case, verdad? I'm pretty sure people know about chicken. If you eat, if you eat it, you know, kind of raw. Don't get you sick. But if you don't know about temperatures, I'm telling you now. It's 165 or more, okay, for chicken. Or any poultry. Turkey, bella. Okay. Okay, that's good. I got my plate right here. I'll plate this chicken right quick. So I got mi gente, mira que chulo quedó. Okay. Put this pan over here. Alright. So if I got. So I'm going to get my flat pan, ¿verdad? Because to make it a sandwich, mi gente, you need either pita bread. In this case, I'm going to use naan. Okay? Uh, rustic white naan. It's about the same thing. Because these dishes right here, but they're Mediterranean dishes. And they usually use this one when they're gonna make like a shawarma, whoever knows what shawarma is. I think the Ottoman Empire invented that, something like that. Uh gotta go ahead mal lindo. You gotta get the you gotta get the mal lindo. Okay. Okay, le vamos a echar aceite. I'll pan un poquito. And what I like to do, I got the, the paper towel, right? Because I don't want my, my pita bread too, too, uh, too greasy. So you help it with the paper towel, and you grease up the pan, and you absorb a little bit of the grease, right? So it won't be too greasy. Now nah, just put it there. Just let it heat up. Mi gente, cuando tiré el aceite ahora, usé el papel de, de toalla porque no quiero el, el, el pan que sea muy grasoso, ¿verdad? So, tú coges esto, cuando ponga el aceite, eh, lo riega con, ¿verdad? Con el papel de toalla para que así no sea muy grasoso y a la misma vez eh, está lubricado el sartén, ¿ok? So, I hope I said that right. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know, que se calienta eso. Well, that heats up. I'm gonna cut up the chicken. Oh my God, the chicken smells so good. Huele riquísimo, mi gente, este pollo. Wow. Y me gusta este pollo. I like this chicken. A lot of people use like uh, chicken tenders. Good. But when it comes to this like this, uh, you know, that's, that's still breast meat and it kind of like dries up. You overcook it. So, I always go with, uh, Bella, with the Thai meat, the boneless Thai, always. So, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this to the side right here. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna flip this. Nah, look at That's how you want it, nice and golden brown. Así, mira. Chévere. Okay. No se tengo. Mi papel con mi aluminio. This is my twist. You don't have to if you don't want to. You know, you can just put it straight on the plate and do it like that. Me, I want to wrap it because I think it looks prettier. So that's what I'm going to do. So lo que voy a hacer. Lo voy a poner en... Lo voy a envolver en, en papel y, y, y aluminio. Eh, tú no lo tienes que hacer. Lo puedes poner en el plato. ¿Verdad? Lo platea así, bien. Pero a mí me gusta ponerlo aquí porque pienso yo, ¿verdad? Cuando uno lo envuelve, como yo lo voy a envolver, se va a ver más bonito. So, uh, so that's where we're at. Jonathan, vaya, bro. Saludos a todo el mundo allá. 
I want to say, ¿verdad? But I, you already know, up on the north side over there, some school por ahí, ya tu sabe. Saludo, Bala Irving Park. Oh, I want to say too much, just in case, bro. Okay, Carlos, bye, guys. Uh-huh. El Gardo, vaya, vera, bro. Emily, saludo, Emily. Happy Three Kings Day. Thank you. Okay. This is about done. That's how you want it, like that. And then this part is going to be the outside part. Okay? I'm going to put the stuff in, on this side. Because this, if you notice, the sides are a little different. ¿Verdad? Son diferentes los lados. So, esto se va a quedar la parte afuera. So, esto lo vamos a apagar. Vamos a move this to the side. Vamos a grab that. Así se ve ahí. Ok. Ah, espérate. Yo no probé. I haven't tasted. I haven't tasted the, the tzatziki sauce. Vamos a probar. Perfect. Me, I just need a little more salt in it. A little more salt and it's good, mi gente. And it's ready to go. Okay. Ya está eso. Okay. Ahora vamos a poner la carne. Okay. Oh my God, that looks so good. Okay. To top this. Verá, la costumbre aquí. Some people throw lettuce. You can throw lettuce if you want. But I'm trying to be as original as possible when I make this sandwich. Okay. Uh, the only thing I changed a little bit, like my twist was the seasoning on the chicken. Eh, lo único que cambié fue, lo empecé que tiré al pollo. Y... Ah, y el pan, porque no es, no es pino, pero es naan, ¿verdad? Pero es lo mismo. Eh, entonces, tradicionalmente, traditionally, they just throw onions and tomato wedges. Ok, mi gente, not tomato slices. Hay gente que tiene slices, I hate that. Tomato wedges. That's like the, the real Greek way, ok? The Mediterranean way. Ok. Nada, just throw a little bit of... Cebollita, ¿verdad? Depende en uno, como uno le gusta, ¿verdad? You like a lot of onions, you throw a lot of onions, you throw, if not, you throw a little bit. Put that to the side. The tomato wedges. Ok. Brazo para el lado. Entonces. I'm going to go ahead and throw the tzatziki sauce. And the tzatziki sauce, mi gente. Elysia in Chicago. So I've been to other places and I don't like the way they make it. It's just some other places, not everybody. But here in Chicago, the sauce goes on top, mi gente, okay? No lo ponga debajo, encima la carne. Usually goes the last thing you throw on the top, okay? So, that's just, you know, a little reminder for some people. If you like it the other way, then you can go ahead and do that. So, lo que vamos a hacer es, la vamos a doblar así. I'm gonna say this way. Okay, okay, I'll ask you. No se viene, uno lo dobla así. Mira, mira que chulería en pote, mi gente. Mira, let me take this piece off. Mira, what do you want? Like that, in a little pocket. Now you plate it like this, mira. Mira todo eso. Mira, ahí está. Chicken girls, mi gente. Como lo hacen aquí en Chicago. That's how they do it here in Chicago. And for when I learned living here all these years since, I've been here since 1976 around there. I've been here a lot of years. Uh, and this is how they always made it. You know, it's, it's a Greek sandwich, right? Uh, 
And of course, you know how everybody does. Tú, tú sabes cómo hace la gente que, que yo lo traen, ¿verdad? De su país, de, de alguna manera, pero entonces you don't find the ingredients, right? So you, you do uh, your recipe with the ingredients you have, ¿verdad? So I'm assuming that's what they did. But nevertheless, it's delicious. So, como siempre, mi gente, vamos a meterle ñaki a esto, ¿verdad? Y así está bueno. Mmm. Look the chicken. So good. My God. No provecho, mi gente. Mira lo que están almorzando. Y como siempre, mi gente, like and share the video, please. ¿Verdad? Ahí, like, dale share. No se queden con el video, no stay with the video. I'm sweating here, so hot in here. De alguien está por ahí. Thank you, Jennifer. It is delicious. It's real delicious. It's like going to, like, down the street. You know, ordering a gyro sandwich. You need the chicken one. You know, I live right here, right down the street from, uh, Right, people from up here from the west side that know Elias and Augusta and Costner. I'm like a block or two blocks away from there. And they make some real good gyros. And if I'm not mistaken, they're Greek. And they make some real good food. So, you know, there you go. Uh, nada, mi gente. Pues los dejo. Espero, ¿verdad? Everybody has a beautiful uh, day. Espero que todo mundo tenga un día bonito. Eh, que pasen el día de reyes, ¿verdad? Con su familia. Eh, ¿Verdad? Mucho drink y drink, por lo menos yo, esto es lo que voy a hacer hoy, yo no tengo nene aquí, la que tengo es mi nieta, y ella se va ahorita cuando venga su mamá del trabajo a buscarla, y ahí a esa hora ya mi, mi esposa debe estar aquí, ya tú sabes mi amor, te voy a tener tu gear ready mi amor, tu coquito, tu vinito, y la vamos a pasar chévere hoy, mi amor, ok, tranquilo, aquí en casita, y mi gente, stay safe, los quiero, Adiós, nos vemos, bro. Vaya, bro. You know how we do. From Chicago, baby. Oh, and I forgot to say, the reason why I have this jersey on today in my hat, uh, I'm a Bulls fan. I mean, I'm a real big Bulls fan. They played last night. Sorry, Portland Trailblazers. You guys were winning by 20. And, you know, the comeback win. You know, they did it. I don't know how many threes Portland uh, shot. In yesterday's game, they, they shot a bunch of threes. But con Tiesto, so the Bulls, right? With their defense, they took their time. They started catching up. And then the fourth quarter, they caught up, took the lead. And that was it. Game over with, baby. Windy City, this is how we do. So, to the Chicago Bulls, congratulations for yesterday's game. And nada, mi gente. Nos vemos. Bye, bro.